now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Adam Carroll, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. Beautiful start to the morning at Alta. And, you know, if you uh, were out and about early this morning, you may have caught the Starlink satellites kind of all in a row. It's, they're not UFOs. We've gotten so many emails about these lately. They're just the Starlink satellites that are uh, lining themselves up, but they were easy to spot this morning with the clear skies. And, boy, I got to tell you, look at that moon out there at Alta. There's still plenty of snow up there as well right now. You would hardly know that most ski resorts are opening their summer activities this weekend. 59 right now. We'll kind of stay in the 50s through 7, then quickly warm by eight, by 81 here at 1 p.m., but we'll see increasing cloud cover at that point. So associated with a cold front, a very weak front at that, moving through northern Utah here this morning into the afternoon hours. It will reach central Utah, but it's got some clouds with it, as you can see here on satellite. Now, as we head through the rest of the day, not much precipitation, if any, with this, this front. So as it moves through, you might find a quick uh, ice Isolated uh, uh, thunder shower or high base storm today. Tomorrow will be just slightly cooler out there. We'll continue to keep the partly cloudy skies around, uh, but that front's going to stall out here across south central Utah. As it does, it should spark up additional isolated storm chances tomorrow. But Sunday right now looks to be the absolute best shot to see a little bit more moisture in eastern Utah. Uh, so if you're going to be in this area, just keep an eye out of the sky because you are likely going to see some thunderstorm development. Uh, green all the way through the weekend with regards to the car wash. We're just going to have additional cloud cover. RSL's at home tomorrow. 75 here at first kick. A little bit breezy to start during the game. Partly cloudy skies, but look at this. 68 here at full time. Approximately 930 against the Minnesota United. 82 in Salt Lake today, 81 Wendover. A little bit cooler out in Nevada because of the front already moving through this area. Uh, you'll stay pretty much right near normal, though, out in Nevada. 72 Park City, 69 Pinedale. A little bit more cloud cover as well farther to the north. Sunshine here, especially in southwestern Utah today uh, because of the fact that the front's going to take all day to get there, so you'll have a little bit more clear skies out there. As far as St. George is concerned, all weekend long for your holiday weekend, pretty much mid-90s. And you're looking at breezy conditions, so elevated fire threats, but then hundreds for next midweek. And so it's going to get hot for the Wasatch Front, 82, then 78, then 80, 83 here through Monday. Dry all weekend long in the valleys. And then into next week, look at the 90s. And a record breaking day is likely on Thursday where we apex our heat. 